Okay, so this is Spencer WS with another Duelist run. I'm doing something special this time. Um, I am, first of all, the volume on everything should be extra high right now. Uh, let me tweak that a little bit. <clears throat> Just a little bit. Uh, so that my computer noise hopefully won't be too loud in the mix. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> this is an absolutely ridiculous uh, run that I didn't expect to get this far. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to be doing at this point is showing you the final Ascension 20 bosses as I fight them, and then going into the Pale of the Ancients and trying to beat as many bosses on it as I can. Now, it's possible that I'll just lose the Time Eater right now, but uh, I wanted to give it a shot because this deck is nuts. Um, it's been a highly unique run. I may have learned a thing or two along the way, which is unusual since I run the machine uh, type so much. So let me explain to you what what's going on in this run and what's happened so far. So the first thing I did in this run is I bought this trap vortex, which took away my uh, the three traps that I picked up so far and gave me thorns. Okay, so that's pretty darn good. Um, it's a wild relic. I consider whether or not it's broken. If you get too many thorns, it's probably too good. But also, you lose so many traps along the way, and you just can't anticipate getting this. So getting this early was a hilariously good decision. Um, it was hilarious because I could hardly block, and I faced the Guardian Act 1. I, so that wasn't the smartest thing, but it uh, still worked out. Um, Speaking of block, we'll get back to that, because uh, to put it shortly, this deck can't block, <laughs> which is why I've been running so hard with uh, heavy damage cards. Um, this is a really, really important relic that I got in the first act that, that makes this deck actually work. So whenever I solder, I draw two cards before triggering the effect. The card draw is really important because I'm trying to get to certain cards and I'm trying to solder certain cards. So I've picked some extra solder options. Uh, in this deck for that reason. Um, this is the reason why I'm not dead, uh, the Mango. <clears throat> um, since this deck can hardly block, basically I just outlast enemies with my <laughs> large max hit points and then heal up later. It's really, really sad. And uh, this, de uh, this relic is probably also the only reason why this deck has survived. Uh, the electricity is extremely powerful. I've never been able to produce artifacts well enough to see how it actually works with artifacts. I, th I think it doesn't work with artifacts. I think that's what I've seen so far. Anyway, um, so this this card is very powerful and this is the reason why I have even a fighting chance. These four, this, not really this relic, but these three are really the only reason why I'm alive. Now, um, I picked an Astrolobby, trying to get something better instead of an Energy Relic, and I got dumb cards, including this piece of hot garbage that uh, is probably well known if you play Machines. Um, so I've played this card like four times so far, and it always takes my block cards. <laughs> so I've had cards that are decent blockers, and I don't have them anymore. So this deck doesn't even block. Um, let's see, what? I don't think I... yeah, so these are my block cards. And this. This I, I crammed in there at the last minute. Um, there is... N oh yeah, and this too. These these two work. So that's fair. But I still don't... I don't feel like I have a lot of block cards. I think that's true. Uh, but more importantly, this is the card that gets all my block done. So when I solder Metal Dragon for a very high metallicize, hopefully in the first three turns with the help of the Braze token, um, that this is how I get most of my blocked up. This is how I last as long as I do. Okay, um, this is actually just extremely annoying and hasn't been helpful, and I just keep forgetting about it. This I thought would be helpful, but it's been marginal. This is nothing. This I needed because I needed it, an extra source of energy, and it, the denial that it's wreaked upon me has not been too catastrophic. Um, I will remark that um, I've been suspicious that this gambler's chip. Uh, denies you cards much more frequently than than the indicated percentage but i'm not so sure anymore i think i lost three cards in the in in act three from this so that's not terrible and then these are sort of whatever relics so <clears throat> so here's here's the big plan here 
as as the title of the video would say, this this is it. I'm calling this deck Crazy Train because of this nonsense. And also, um, I use cards like this just to beat down my enemy as fast as possible. And as you can see, because of the electricity, they're getting some good a good show, um, including this giant, which is really really important. And then hopefully. At the right time, I'll draw the Steam Train King, which, by the way, um, I tend to do better with bosses than than with normal fights because I can continue to solder Metal Dragon. Doesn't always happen, but if that happens, I do well. But this card is what gets me through the hallway fights, and <laughs> so I, I I find that pretty funny. I've actually. Um, enlisted the help of alien orbs deliberately just to get draw to get the card draw going faster and faster and faster to increase my chances of drawing this card and this card so <laughs> that's the plan anyway so here we go of course i'm going to play this first it's always worth playing even if it, i don't get the metal dragon in in my opinion and i may actually get it if i end up soldering this and then get more solder and yada yada. Okay. So Time Eater is going to be a pain. A royal pain. And... Oh my gosh! I got the Metal Dragon. Oh my gosh! Okay, so anyway. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, well, I, I, I'm not so sure anymore, but Time Eater is, is generally going to be a huge pain. And so I have to be careful in how I do this and not play this nonsense unless I absolutely have to, which I've, I have felt like I've had to like three times just because it's worth it. And the gambling has been painful, man. <laughs> this card's so dumb. Anyway, okay. Yeah, so I have ideas already. I'm going to try to get increment out of this so I can play, uh, prepare to play the Rock Giant. That's how I do things. Okay. With that out of the way, I think I'll stop talking and start thinking a little bit more. Uh, I maybe should have played this, but it's just hard to say. It was probably I probably should have played this against the Time Eater. Um, but you know, if we face the Awakened one, I get nervous about that one, so I'll save for the next boss battle. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I think we do that. And then what? Do we... I think we play this and not this. But I have to check here. Yeah, because I think it's important to fill my, my zones with summons. And then possibly play this Mega-type token later, which, you know, would be cool. Okay, double artifacts actually seems pretty good. Yeah, look at all this nonsense here. Uh, let's... Oh, yeah, okay, I need to be mindful of the time eater here, so... Uh, not focus. Dexterity. Didn't work. Okay. Yikes. Uh, a light orb is pretty good, so I think I'll play that. Uh, that's uh, not exactly what I thought, but that's okay. Still good. Eight. Putting the time meter at eight is probably a good idea. But I don't know. I should probably be cautious and take it to nine. In fact, oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on. That would be interesting if I could get focus on this. That would definitely be interesting. I might be able to keep the electricity if I do that. Notice that I haven't blocked at all. Yeah, it's it's what you think. It's just sad. Okay, I got the focus. So how much do I care about the extra artifact here? Not enough. 
but it's it's trouble to have the time meter at eight if you can't play four cards. If you play three, you're in trouble. But it looks like I'm going to be able to play four. And I'm going to want to play four instead of three. So let's try that. Oh, this is going to be wild. Yeah, look what just happened. I just got de-electrified here. Lose negative three electricity, so I, I, I don't even know what's going to happen next. It's possible that with a glitch like that, I might reset the battle. Um, if it if it backfires. But if it doesn't backfire, I admit I'm probably just going to ride it out out of sheer fun. Okay. So this is going to be important. But the gem elephant is also really good. Okay. I should probably play this and then play the gem elephant. That's probably the right call. Let's be mindful of the fact that I can only play two cards now. Seam Train King is not the right thing to play. I'm a little afraid of playing this. Oh, I'm gaining electricity. Yeah, I just gained... Yeah, that's crazy. That's nuts. I really like that. Worked out really well for me. This is probably a decent time to play this. Okay, negative strength, that can't be so bad. In fact, it might flip into a positive with this. Uh, it didn't. Oh, yikes. There's a lot I don't understand about this. But Junk Warrior's here, and that's all that matters. Let's do... Okay, um, let me think about this. Probably blur is the right thing to do. Yeah, I'm not going to think too hard. Because Blur will also benefit from Metallicize, so that's pretty good. Ooh, Steam Train King at this point might work. But, you know, Metal Dragon's here too. Probably a better pick. I think we're going to do okay. <laughs> Frankly, I think we're going to be fun. The negative strength is obnoxious, but what can you do? Look, I can even play this. And then what? Play the Iron Hammer Giant? Possibly. Just make sure I don't mess this up. This is pretty good as well. I think I'm going to play this and see what happens. Because we won't draw the Iron Hammer Giant, so it won't be too bad. Uh, no, 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 that's a bad idea. No, no, it is a good idea. No, because we'll get the we'll get the gravity blaster out of it. Is that a good thing? I don't even know. Yeah, I think it's fine. We'll get the gravity blaster. Oh, we didn't get the gravity. Oh no, we did. Okay. Let's just be really careful here. Double stun. I'm, I'm perplexed. I don't know why this is 
why this doubles from electricity, uh, why, sorry, why this doubles from electricity, uh, I'm, I'm confused, but doubles the reset, apparently. So, now, I think we just play this, to make sure that, you know, we get this guy gone. Six, six, yeah. Yeah, that'd be useful. Six super explosive tokens? Yeah, I I'd love to die. Um, let's really be careful about that. Oh, okay, steam train king will work here. I'm not actually gonna use these. Eleven, twelve, there we go. Okay, I'm doing really good so far, by the way. I didn't expect things to go that well. Uh, like having a gravity blaster right now and a metal dragon, oh my gosh. A flux token? Good grief. There's four machines. There's more flux to be had as well. That's nuts. Anyway, we'll do this to use the gravity blaster, so here we go. Uh, no thanks on the freight train. <laughs> it's scary. And then some flux, I think, is really important. Oh shoot, I should have used this first. Oh my gosh. Uh, it would be a big mistake, I think, to use Steam Train King now, but... Definitely got my attention. Yeah, I should have used this first. That was a mistake. Okay, Gravity Lash. If we know we're not drawing the dragon, then maybe we shouldn't do this. We only have one source of solder, and, you know, the dragon's just too important, so I think I'm not gonna do that. I should have done that. What cards am I going to play next turn? Probably Gem Elephant. Hopefully Gem Elephant. Yeah, there it is. Really important card. Um, it's by the way, that's the first time I picked gem gem elephant because it came to me upgraded, and it's been great, really great. All right, am I doing the alien stuff? Because that's pretty wild. This is kind of painful that I have to do this, but I think I do have to do this. I'm gonna get less block, but whatever. 
and then I believe I should play this. So here goes. Ouch. Uh, good Steam Train King again. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> it is hilarious that it, it's showing up though. I can appreciate that. Let's do. What happened? I just hit myself. Right? With the explosive token, and then the, uh... That's hilarious, the boot triggered it. I've never seen that before. That's impressive. Okay, but, but check this out, hold on. Random amount. One, between one and your current max summons? Okay, chances are it will do two. That's really, really interesting. It will do one, that's for sure. And then not block. So, what am I doing here? Let's just try here. Yep, okay, that's what I was hoping for. So that's good. Um, I'm losing my good cards though, and I'm shuffling these tokens into my deck. I've lost the elephant, that's not so good. Okay, gravity blaster, okay. I might need to use that. It's probably the right time to use this. As dumb as it is. I'm glad I didn't gain a focus. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see one. Oh, we're gonna have the same problem as before. Okay, we'll try this. Too bad the dragon went. Yeah, it went, went away. It's important to keep incrementing. This could be good, but I might lose my uh, ability to proc it, which could be catastrophic, actually. I'll try it anyway. Okay. That worked so far. Go broke. Okay, it worked. Very nice. Ah, that's a little bad. Okay. Okay. Another Steam Train King and Gravity Lash. Pretty ridiculous. That's okay. Um, let's see. Probably channeling an alien and then just hoping for something decent. Well, that didn't work. Do I want two aliens? That's so scary. No. No, I can't do that. I, I just can't do that. No. We're not ver doing very well in the damage department right now. Okay, I have ideas. And they're not very good ideas. Let's see if we can get the dragon and gravity lash out once. If not, we'll try something different. Okay. Maybe try the machines and then the gravity lash. Let's try that. Okay, it didn't work again. 
What am I even doing right now? Oh, I'm resummoning. I'm glad I was paying attention because it would be pretty awful to resummon either of these. What's the damage? 22. <sighs> How else am I blocking? Okay, the chance that I'm gonna hit this dragon, it's not low. But if I hit the dragon, I won't be able to play it. I'm gonna try. Nope, okay, I missed it. Whatever. This might be useful, actually. There. That's not bad. Uh, we don't have a dragon, so... Are we waiting for the 140? I think we are doing that. There's, there's gonna be trouble with that, but... Nevertheless. And yes, I know I haven't used this. It's just the way it's going so far. Yikes. Steam Train King is mighty tempting right now. Probably a bad idea. Okay, let's play this. Yes! Okay, let's play this now. Good. We got him. Good for us. Um... Let's just see if I want any super explosive token. I probably don't. Everything here is a tribute though, except for this, which detonates, and gem elephant. So it's kind of stressful. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Can't do that. Good, Ge Gem Elephant came out right on time. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get the Golem here today. That's okay. Yeah, this is the right choice. Metal Dragon, excellent. Appreciate that. And then get this out of my deck. Uh, Chunk Warrior is still fresh, which I like. Okay, we got 46, 70. That's not anything close for a Steam Train kick yet. This is not working quite as I would like. Try playing that. Just hope for some tokens. And then play that. Okay, it didn't go so well. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that went very well. We could still lose, for sure. Uh, let's get this guy played, because it's about time. And the extra block will be very helpful. What are we doing here? Oh yeah, Metal Dragon. We're hoping on that. Uh, so let's play... Not this, since we're going to play Metal Dragon. <sighs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Not playing this, so we can save it for the Steam Train King. And then this is... What is it?
I'll just try this. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, that's super sad. But 101 is not super sad. That's why increment is so good right now. Okay. Well, it looks like we have a future with this deck. So, going into Pale of the Ancients, which is a really, really fun mod. Um, it's a little unstable, but its bosses are pretty awesome, and uh, there's some great music at the end. Um, there will be some spoilers if we get far enough, so just know that. Um, you can't see uh, the road ahead in this mod until you get there. So if you don't want to see the road ahead, then you probably shouldn't watch. Um, this is an object. Can't see it. Okay, so this object is the timepiece. It gives me... Um, it looks like... I'm, it's actually kind of confusing because the special effects are so wild on this item. But basically, I get one free win in a boss combat. That's my understanding. Also, this is the acknowledged efforts, meaning that I, I collected all the heart pieces, so I get this relic. It does some special things for me. So I get um, one strength, one dexterity, one focus, an additional one energy, two extra cards, two hit points, ten block, and one weak and vulnerable um, at the start of combat just at the start of combat. So it's not totally broken, it's just really nice. So, uh, okay, here we go. I've never seen this, by the way. I've never seen these options. So, I'm seeing a vision, and it doesn't resemble anything I've played in a while. And, I get this, look at these relics, man. Look at these. These are nuts! So I need to figure out which is best for block here. This is great, but I already have this, so probably not so good. Auriculum is actually tempting because I do such a bad job blocking, but this is good too. But I, I'm already getting one dexterity from here, so it's like, not sure. And finally, this is certainly good as well, but it's a little dicey. It combos well with Red Skull. That's what I like about it. The problem is, is when you face bosses, it like it doesn't doesn't work during combat. So I don't think I'm gonna take this. I think I'm gonna take Auriculum because of how disgraceful my my blocking is. And I think that Auriculum will add on to everything else I get. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's true. Oh wow, why am I getting all these good memories? Now I get another relic option, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention um, this crazy relic that I got. I got because I was about to die in Act 1 and I found a body with, you know, uh, with the chance of an elite appearing and ambushing me and I decided to go for it. And then I got this relic and I just ran. <laughs> so that worked out super well. Okay. Um, Gremlin Horn is a great tech relic for a certain boss on Pale of the Ancients. This, I think, is hilarious since I already have three thorns. But I don't think it's going to do what I hope. I don't think it's going to be good enough. And I don't think it's going to be good enough either. Hmm. I think I play a lot of skills. I don't know, I mainly play attacks, but... Oh no, Auriculum does not play well with Ornamental Fan. Yikes. I'm trying to think how these bosses work. I'm still learning in this mod, by the way. I think this might be helpful. This would probably be good if I fought the defect.
this is not bad either. With the tokens, I'm afraid to open up uh, a panel right now and break the game, but okay, the game did break. As you can see, I do have a lot of skills. I think what I should be doing is not fretting too much about the tokens and just taking the Mercury Hourglass. Is that smart? Okay, we'll, we'll try that. Okay, so first of all, um, the I fought the wa Watcher once before and died. Um, it's it's a bizarre enemy that I don't quite understand. Um, it does have multiple attacks, but I need to look ahead as well. The collector fight will crash. It will freeze, um, depending on the collector's intent. I can fix it by finagling things, but it's unattractive for video. And then this fight is just frankly really hard. So I'm probably going to go for the ironclad after that. So let's figure this out. The enemies do not behave the same way that, uh, that you may expect. So I really have to think about this. I'm afraid of the silent because the silent is going to take all my artifacts probably with poison. But I have to think about that too, really. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Donu Deca because if I draw Steam Train King, that'll be good. Okay, nice. So far, so good. Um, I am probably playing this, so let's just do it. And the power is also good too, so I have to think about that. Okay, I'm not really sure. What does this guy do? Unblock damage this creature deals will heal it. So maybe I should attack this first. And these guys don't have a lot of hit points. I'm kind of surprised. Okay. Yeah, that, that seems fine. Two. Scary, but whatever. Two. Oh! So, so I noticed that when I play these powers, um, they... How would I put this? The, the power token plays multiple copies of this... Uh, gives me multiple copies of the same power. So notice that at the start of the turn, I'll detonate 18, which makes me think that I should use this. Um, and I'm probably right, by the way. But we need to see if I get Steam Train King first. Let's see, 71, it's like 10, 35. Yeah, that's a ton of damage. So Steam Train King, if that happens first, it'll be good. Uh, no, no Steam Train King. Should I double? Should I double summon this? Because it, I mean, it'll, de it'll detonate all the tokens. No, 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 no. And the stun isn't good for anything, so. Probably play this. That's plenty good. And then. Oh, yikes. We have too many cards in, in our hand. I see a problem, but that's okay. As many as we can get. Let's see, how many can we get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, we can only get 2. Okay. Not 
not bad. Oh, Steam Train King, but I think all my good cards are in my hand. Yep, so it doesn't work. That's okay. Yikes. Well, okay. So what I'm gonna do is definitely solder, and I don't need this, so hold on. This is actually kind of a tough choice on what I should be doing. Because this this guy's about to heal when he hits me. So it might be better just for me to play this. The bosses don't behave the same way, so it's kind of hard to figure out what to do here. So it's just that I have zero monsters summoned, but down here it's just three. I've never seen that before. Okay, good. It's back in shape. Ooh, yeah, I was afraid of that plate elmer. I was definitely afraid of it. Ooh! Okay, steam drinking. Is this gonna work? I think it is gonna work. Oh, it's definitely gonna work. Let's see it. Um, uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh, what are we gonna do now? Oh no! Okay, what's going on? Um, it gains strength with skills. Oh shoot! 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 Um, it's not a ton of damage. Okay, let's try to resummon some machines. <laughs> Just stun lock this. Guy. Okay, get some metal size, please. <laughs> oh dear. We're in trouble. Uh, nothing to detonate. Okay, grease. Uh, shoot, shoot, it's gaining some skills. Um, see it. it. didn't stun. What happened? Oh, yikes. This is hilarious. I can't believe this. Okay, let's just stun it again. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Okay, just keep metallicizing. That's the ticket. Um, let's see. Let's try the tokens first. I'm losing. I can see I'm losing my summons. Uh, no soldiers here. Crud. It's gaining strength, too. Try that and then what does this help me at all I think I need the summons even though he's gonna gain strength and then I don't know do this okay that helped sort of nice okay yeah we're gonna do what we usually do Unlock. Metal Dragon. Oh, I should have played this first. I keep forgetting. Gosh darn it. I should probably just get rid of it. Ooh, he almost changed his intent. That was bad. That's working. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm nervous to play this. Ah, crud. Looks like this is our strategy now. This is what we're doing. Which is pretty hilarious if you ask me. Ok, 
I'm, I'm, I really need to be careful here. I'm running out of um, summons. Let's just keep it simple. Oh, I'm getting thorned. That's not good. That's really bad. Uh, what do we do about that? Because we're we're gonna we're gonna die if this continues. We can get some block out of this. Okay, freeze is good. That's really really good. Uh, let's see. Fifty six is nice. It's Fifteen. This probably does more. Seventy six. Yes. Man, that was scary. Okay, so now we get these crazy relics, which are good. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, if I pl okay, hold on. If I play an attack, I get three dexterity this turn, and then if and then it flips into play a skill, gain three strength. Now this is going to be kind of a pain to keep track of. Hmm. Tempting. Gadget gets me the dexterity right off the bat. So maybe I just play the gadget. Man, I should have picked the uh, letter opener. This is so bizarre. These options. So anyway, the gadget gets me dexterity right off the bat. And it applies it pretty regularly. So that's an option. Um, the thing about relics, Pale of the Ancient Relics, is that when you pick one, you can't pick another one. Like, that's just it. So let's see what we're doing here. We're going probably to, to this guy, I believe that's the Ironclad. And then going to the Defect, definitely, and then going forward. So Defect probably has a power-related relic, and this guy probably has some other relics. So I think I think this is a good relic to pick. And then with that in mind, we don't need this. Because we're going to get our strength and dexterity from this. We need a way to... Um, to block, probably. This is probably just good enough that I need to take it, even though it doesn't attack a block or anything. I'm getting, I'm crowding my hand, so, you know, I'm gonna take this and, oh, well, didn't even matter. Um, okay, this is fascinating. So this is the Iron Cluck. Interesting. Well, it doesn't matter because I have the Metal Dragon, so we're fine. Right? Hmm. A little nervous, so I kind of wonder if I should use this Flux Potion, but... So, the bosses in this mod are really complicated. I have to figure out how they work. Okay. So when this card gets hit enough, it will start to, it looks like it'll, I, I don't know what to think. 
Whoa, hold on. So it's shifting, meaning it gains strength. And then... So it's going to get, like, super powerful. And then if it takes 47 damage, it will deal that 15 times. Am I understanding that correctly? Because that's catastrophic. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, it's going down. Strength down. Okay, good. Good. That's that's relief. Anyway, I'm going to do this. And then this metallicize is going to be helpful. After taking 25 damage in one turn, it regains lost strength. So, like, this is a, a battle that we have to fight in increments of 50 very carefully, and it looks like we lose very painfully if we don't do that. That's what I'm that's what I'm gathering here. So let's play this first and see what happens. I'm a little nervous. Okay, slowed. Uh oh. Well let's see what you know rip. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like we're about to lose. Yeah, we we're about to get whipped now. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, it's still shifting, so I can still do something about this. Try to hit it again, I guess. Um, gravity blaster. <laughs> uh, that's that's attractive. But I don't know if I don't know if that postpones the problem or what. Uh, we just don't know. So I think I'm gonna try to play this. No, no, no. If I do this, I think this will make this unplayable. I've I've forgotten how this works, but anyway, we're gonna stun it. Okay, that appeared to work. Very, very perplexing. And now what? Probably play this. Famous last words. If this thing comes back and kicks me, that, that's not so good. I'm going to have to really pay attention to this relic. I need to move it. Can I move this, please? Whatever. Okay, if it's an attack, it's a donut. If it's not, it's a skill. Increment 4 is actually kind of important. Ooh, the detonate 4 is good too, but I can't, I can't do that. Okay, let's let's go with that. Wild. Just wild. Oh wow. Yikes. Okay, maybe maybe this works like the shifting and all that, you know, of the transient. So let me think about this, because we might need to play Steam Train King. Oh, it won't work. Okay. So let's play this first. That's that's really important. Okay, okay, it went down. I'm, I'm so confused. Getting the elephant would be pretty good, actually. Let's see the random effect first. Okay, down to three. Mm, getting artifacts would be good too. Two, three, four, we could play that. 
probably. Let's do that. That's not so bad. It's no elephant, but at least we get some artifacts to keep everything that we have. Okay. Ooh, that would have been bad. I would have died on that idea. That's a bad idea. Forget it. <laughs> okay, I can appreciate that. Um, now what? I think what we do is play this, because it's just good. And now it's going to hit me really hard. Okay, I'm starting to learn this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this first and just see what happens. Okay, it goes down, goes down really hard. It goes down to, uh, as you can see, 30. Interesting. Let's do the, this. Um, is that, was that not a, why did I get that? Oh, I see why. Okay. What about this? A little nervous, but... You should try it, right? If it goes back to the 150, I'll try to play the Junk Warrior, and then hopefully that'll work. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have a, I have an idea. Yeah, I definitely have an idea. Okay. So we'll do this. Um, let's try... this. Okay, nothing really changed. And then we'll just spend these tokens, just blow them to uh, raise this slow. And then, yeah, this is what I want here. The, the 250 would be good. Okay, now he's dealing 75. Hopefully this will help. It did. Okay, good. Whew. Wow, this is stressful because I do not understand how this thing works. Wow. Okay, helmet thing. When you gain block, draw a card. Whenever you draw a status card, gain energy. Okay, I'm glad I'm not using that, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> Am I actually going to pick this card for the first time ever? <laughs> Am I actually going to pick it? No, 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 no. This is much better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? I get to upgrade a card or I get pain. Is pain any good for me? I'm afraid, like, the boot's gonna do something stupid to, my, to the pain, or I, I don't know. I don't want that to happen. My deck is, in general, not very upgraded. Oh, it's more than I think. What would I upgrade? Probably Junk Warrior? Or Solemn Warning, probably. There's not a lot of cards that need upgrading, which is nice. I didn't realize how well I had upgraded everything. This gets uh, bonuses anyway, so I'm gonna. Well, da the damage is nice, and the detonate is good on this guy too. Hmm. I actually use detonate in this deck, which is very rare.
We'll try this. Okay, what are we doing? Not going to the shop, I think. I usually take the chest first and then go to the shop right before the last fight. Oh, I'm kind of afraid to take this, but I, I haven't been blown up once yet. So, by the way, last run I actually killed myself with explosives, explosives on the last turn against the uh, automatons, and that was a surprise. A unpleasant surprise. Let's just assume that these aren't good for anything and just upgrade this. Okay, defect. Okay, yeah, it's, it's what I thought, is that... Oh, interesting. The relic just went through. Decreases damage taken by 100%. Interesting. The music in this is so, so cool. Anyway. Anything else I need to know about the defect? Like, there's like a, a, a new piece of music for every boss. It's just awesome. I'm hoping nothing will bug out because, I mean, it's really cool. Okay, what, what, what went up? Oh, perfect. Not perfect. Crud. <laughs> oh no. I messed up. Oh well, let's just keep going. Let's just play this, see what happens. I, I have ideas here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, let's see, we've got this on the skill side. So let's play this now, and then play this, and then the skill, and then the detonate, Skill. Uh, no, that won't work. Oh, uh, I might have messed up. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't mess up, but. Whatever. It wasn't good for anything. Probably the Junk Warrior and then the Elephant is probably what I'm going to do. Okay, if I attack an orb, it will evoke, so that's fascinating. I'm gonna trust that maybe I should do this. Attack the Dark Horde first. And not do the elephant. Try to get some artifacts here. Is that a good idea? Probably better to, to play these both of them. So let's let's do this. Um, we'll, we'll get our artifacts by playing these first. Okay, maybe should have thought of that differently. Why did it double tribute? What just happened? What just happened? Appears that the defect is the more orbs he has, the less he can prevent damage. 
So with that in mind, I don't know what to do. Um, will change intent upon an orb being destroyed. Okay, so presumably I need to get the defect to attack me. Let's just do this to minimize our losses here. Okay, now he's going to attack, which is good. Uh, he's... Okay, and he's also interesting. He's also getting extra stuff. Hmm. Okay, the, this relic is not doing the work that I had hoped it would do. Okay, so we can try to stun lock. But he's got an artifact. Frost orbs are probably wasting his time. It looks like they're not working quite well. Let's try... Mm. Okay, this is what we'll do. Try to hit him and then modify this okay the artifact's gone which is good so now we I still want that stun lock I think that's useful I see a problem. Okay, we're gonna try this first. Nice. Um, and then just just try everything here. Uh, that's helpful. Let's spend that. This is weird. It's it's working in some strange way. Even if I don't play attack skills back and forth. Um, Ninety one is okay. Probably a bad idea. Um, interesting. Attempting to play the Steam Train King would be an awful idea. Okay, so that didn't work quite the way I wanted it to. This could be a long fight. machine tokens now. So I can play this. The intent being... well, okay, this isn't bad either. This might break through his, uh, his orb stuff.
Yeah, it does. Which is good. Junk Warrior, nice. How did this become unplayable? Tribute machine and just keep summoning. Nice. Nice. Appreciate that too. Skill first, and this looks like okay. The gear thing is fine. We'll just blow these on stuff. That's why we, we increment, by the way. That's what I've learned. Um, are we stun locking now? I don't think we should. This will probably finish him off. Let's do... Um... This will probably be okay just to play. work. Oh, it did. Okay. Well, 13. How about this? Boom. Yeah, that's what I thought. First two powers each combat played three times. That's pretty great. Flex potion is really great. Um... Very tempting, actually, of a card to get. <clears throat> this will not augment well, so I should not do this. This is also intriguing. Okay, so this could be <clears throat> this could be played with the res the mis the machine resummon, which is interesting as well. I don't think this is good enough to warrant taking though. It's only six block. Let's skip it. Okay, we're on our way. By the way, we are on our way. Um.
This is a good card. I just need to figure out how to use it. At this point, I think we hit the shop. Hard choice. Roulette and trigger. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Problem is, is with the upcoming boss, tokens are not going to get very far. They just really aren't. And this is also very tempting. Ooh, wow. Wow. Yeah, let's not depend on these. It is what it is. Uh oh. Okay, good. So, this is the boss battle. What what it looks like is you're just taking another shot and I haven't really tried to See, it looks like things are pretty normal, but if you click this, I don't want to experiment right now. I might, I might lose everything if I click these options. Anyway, if you click this, you fight. So I don't think my timepiece works now. Let's see, no, it does. So I, I, I'm very interested how that's gonna work. Okay, enjoy the music, enjoy the special effects. That's what I like most about this. The boss fight is actually extremely, extremely difficult. And uh, drawing Steam Train King this early, no, 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 no. Anyway, it's very difficult. I've never won. Okay. Probably important to get that metal dragon as soon as possible. So here's the thing, here's how this works. Um, the first card you play in this match makes the adjacent cards cost five more, which is pretty bad. Um, it, as, so long as this eye is alive. Um, this is the Amnesia eye, and each of the second card you play is exhausted and replaced with a curse. Now I've noticed if the card already exhausts, you don't get a curse, so your second card should be an exhaust card. And then this third one, after the third card is played, all these enemies gain two strength, and you shuffle a starter card into your discard pile. Um, now if you kill any of these eyes, the rest of them gain three strength per turn, which is pretty insane. So, frankly, I'm not sure I'm about to win this. Let's try to play these before they're unplayable. 
Also, explosion, uh, explosive tokens I have to consider, and alien orbs I have to consider. Alien orbs plus needing to coordinate with these, I think, are going to be a pain. This is going to be my exhaust card, if at all. Maybe this, actually. Oh, if it is this, then I need, I need not to play this. Uh, play something else. We'll try this. <clears throat> That's not unreasonable. Okay, this is the gear thing, which is cool. I have to decide which eye I'm going to go for first. I think this eye is the worst. Actually, this eye is probably the worst. Ideally, you want to kill them all at the same time. <clears throat> This is probably the worst, so I need to target it. Where's my dragon? Where's my metal dragon? I don't have it. I don't have... Wait a minute. There are some cards I don't have. I don't have the steam, I don't have the um, freight train card. <clears throat> I don't have the metal dragon. What happened? What do those two cards have in common? I don't know. Was I at 21 cards earlier? That's bizarre. I don't know what to think. I don't understand what happened. Okay, having free golems is probably worth doing, but having this available to play is also nice. Ah, we'll take a golem. Yeah, that's why, that's why we did that. This thing is going to become unplayable anyway, so I may, I may as well. No curse. That's why we did that. I'm gonna try to get this played now. Okay. Ah, bad. So, order of operations, we play this, uh, not Power Giant, we play this first. Oh, I know what it's, I, I've learned from experience what this thing is going to do. It's going to heal all of its debuffs, so we attack this one now. We want to kill these at the same time, I think that's the, that's the goal here. Or maybe I should go for this one first.
This one seems to double attack, which is bad, so let's try this one. More flux is nice. I have an idea. It's a bad idea. If I channel tons of metal, then I can, like, mass solder stuff. That can't be too terrible. This will be a good, good thing to use. Oh, I think that's also what I'm missing. I'm also missing the. Uh... Yeah, I'm also missing the stun lock card. That's trap. Oh no, no, here it is. Gravity blaster. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, I think I need to... This, I have an idea, so I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna try it. Okay, it didn't really work. But that's okay. this? Oh, I think I can discard. Choose any number of cards to discard. Discard aqua cards. To get, okay, got it. We're running out of cards that exhaust, so I think I'm going to keep this. And I use the second potion.
think we need to play this. It is what it is. Okay, good. Glad to see this card. Still no stun lock. Okay, whatever. Okay, two. Sure. Anything that exhausts? Let's get rid of this. How did it gain strength? What just happened? Oh wow. Wow. Did not expect that to still be in effect. Okay, we're in trouble because we didn't do this the right way. Yikes. Good stun. How's Steam Train King? How's that one? How the hell did that work? Yikes, that's gonna hurt. Okay, I have ideas. I might use Steam Train King this, this round. Go up to ten. <sighs> I don't know. I'll probably die by this next round, so whatever. Let's just do it. See what happens. Okay. So now the clock works. That's good.
Maybe that was a mistake. Losing cards. It's it's really concerning. And I should not be playing this, I should play something different. That didn't even work. Something is majorly wrong here. Okay, well, basically I think there were some things that went wrong in this fight and I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, a little disappointing, to be honest. Um, I really made an effort. But that happens sometimes. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm a little perplexed wh why this happened, why I lost these cards. Um, so that was really disappointing, frankly. Um, but as you can see, this mod is great, except for when it's not. And so basically it's got some bugs that I, I know that I'm not going to be able to work out all right uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, next time I show up here with some crazy deck I'll tune you in take care uh, maybe I should look at my score at least pale of the ancients okay great <laughs>